New tonight here at 6, it's an historic house renovation that goes all the way back to the Salem Witch Trials. Now decades of hard work to save the home are finally paying off. To preserve the architecture, yes, and save an incredible story. Renovations on the Sarah and Peter Clay's house in Framingham are in full swing. Oh. But it's the story behind the house that explains why so many people have worked so hard to reach this point. Sarah, along with her two sisters, Rebecca Nurse and Mary Eastie, were convicted of witchcraft. It was 1692. The witch hysteria in Salem was sweeping the area, and Sarah Clays was accused. Her two sisters were hung. She escaped the noose. No one knows just how she did that, but not long after, Sarah and her husband moved here to Framingham. Over the years, each new owner added to the house, but eventually it fell into this state. There were three or four channels from the roof all the way to the basement of rotted sheathing, timber, flooring. For more than 20 years, people have worked to save the house. Saving buildings like this is hard, so I'm very glad that this one will be kept and our town deserves it. The hope is to sell the house to a family who will pledge to preserve it. They will appreciate the story, they will appreciate the history, and they will preserve it and, and maintain it. Now, the Sarah Clay's House Trust is going to put the house on the market when all those renovations are finished. They think that's probably going to be sometime in the spring of next year.